we have behind us is the Methanizer Tower. It's one of three that's going out to Balmeray, Texas. They come from Dubai. The truck I'm driving today is a uh, Western Star, what they call a prime mover. It has three tri-drive axles underneath it, planetary rear ends where you can lock all the axles in at a very low rate of speed, but they'll all pull. And when you get into tough hills and very, very heavy loads, you can engage those things and get down and, and start pulling on the load. It has a Detroit 600 horsepower DD16 motor in it. And it has a four-speed auxiliary transmission, automatic transmission. We've been very pleased with them. They've done a lot of service in other applications of our company. We use them a lot of times up on the wind farms, pulling the cells, and we use them a lot pulling these heavier loads like this. It's been a great truck. I had no issues with it. it does a real good job. On this job, I'm the, the push truck operator. When all the guys get here, the team will go through the trailer, walk around. We got checklists that we have to go through to make sure uh, the trailer is uh, safe to go for that day. Check all the tires again, even though we do it at night. As one of three motorcycle officers, my role on this job is basically traffic control. And that is to make sure the civilian vehicles get out of the way, um, make sure the corners, traffic intersections, or whatever, um, everything gets locked down so the load can move through it safely. What it does for the overall transport is, again, safety, and then also it gives the bucket trucks um, the people on the ground, uh, a safe area to work and a lot of room to work and move around and handle what they have to handle without the worry of civilian vehicles coming in the way. The trailers that we're using today on this part, this trip in particular, is a Go Hoffer dual lane type trailer. It's uh, 14 foot wide at the minimum, 20 foot wide at the maximum. Uh, comes in several different forms. You can either do it in a two-line system, a four-line system, all the, as far as you want to go with it. You can use it in this application here. We're using it as a dolly system where you put the turntables on it and they turn the loads for you. Or you can use it in a one-straight trailer, just any which way you need to use it. It's a 
very versatile. We do, do a lot of things with you. You can track it left to right, grab them, uh, spin them around, just do about anything you need to do with them. Pull them backwards, forwards. Uh, it's a real good trader. We have a lot of success with them. Good in the front. Good in the back, Dennis. Copy that. I turn, Dennis. Good job, fellas. Alrighty, Dennis, uh, I'm gonna go over and find this bridge. Yeah, we gotta, gotta hold a steer to cross that one, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to steer it, both trailers, because you gotta crab each trailer. Okay. I didn't think there was enough room on that bridge to do that. Yeah, you got to, though. Yeah, both. The way it works is we got the power pack, which is the motor. Turn the motor on, you got valves, you know, different number of valves. So you just flip valves, you know, get your steering engaged. You, you steer the trailer with counterclockwise, and you just go right across the bridge. I mean, it's just a just complex set of valves. You can take every axle and turn it left, turn it right. I mean, you can just make tighter turns versus taking a step deck or flatbed or some, some non-steerable trailer. I can either steer the trailer with my tongue system that I have on, and in cases we have to break it loose. We can unpin it from the truck, and my operators will steer it individually. I have operate on the front trailer, operate on the back trailer and they, uh, they can get it around just about anything. I mean, uh, we've been around some corners. We're almost 300 foot long here, uh, 294 feet to be exact. No problem with the help of the operators. In turns, uh, even if it's on flat ground, the uh, pull truck will need a little bit of help. Not a whole lot, but a little bit, because when the tires on the trailer start to turn, even though they're rolling, the truck senses, it's almost like putting the brakes on for it. 
So I got to give him a little bit, just enough to keep him going. In the turns, you really got to watch the bar because that's you can really bend it there real easy. When uh, the turn is on a hill like we had today, it's even you got to give it more power to keep him going up front. Looking good up top. At the back of it, you know, we got 47 foot of tailspin. You know, when you're going around the corner, you got to watch out for telephone poles, street signs, cars. You know, I mean, you just got to keep the, the public in mind. When we come up to an intersection, the way the head swing is on the unit, the way the tail swing is on the unit, uh, it, it covers a lot of ground, so we have to make sure a, a large area is, is cleared out for them. Civilians out here, they're not mind readers, so they don't know what's going on. They come over a hill or to an intersection and they just see a big circus of lights. We kind of have to convey what's happening, you know, with, without actually having to stop and talk to everyone. You know, we have to let everyone know what's going on and make, and make sure they stay in their place. So again, the load has enough room to, to move around and do what it needs to do. basically looking at the stroke of the turntable, making sure we're not bottoming out, making sure uh, you know, our head swing's not gonna hit any signs, any trees. chains are backing off and you want to look at the load, make sure your load's not shifting or swaying.
even if you can't see a hill or a pull coming up, you can feel it. Kind of a back drag on your truck. You know you need to give him a little bit more power before he even says something. And going downhill is just the opposite. If you feel that you're just getting ready to run away with it, you back off and let him have it. As far as my experience goes, I've been a police officer for 15 years and 14 of them has been spent on a motorcycle doing, doing these escorts. Why I chose the motorcycle is from a child, uh, you know, we've always seen motorcycle cops, they were always super cool to me, so that, you know, it's something I wanted to be a part of and you get paid to ride motorcycles, I mean, it's kind of hard to beat that. That gave me an opportunity when I first came here. I didn't have this experience. I had lots of big experience, but I didn't have the go hopper experience. So that's one of the main reasons I came here to advance my career in, in the heavy haul. I like it here. I've been here, like I said, going on five years. I mean, it's just, it's just a good place to work. You know, we, we keep everybody in mind. You know, we're all brothers and sisters here. Well, I enjoy working at Lone Star because of the maintenance program they have and the safety program they have. They're really top-notch there from what I've seen. I've been with Lone Star for roughly three, almost three and a half years. I've picked up a lot of mechanical skills, you know, fixing air brakes, you know, learning how air brakes work, learning how hydraulics work. And uh, some things that take somebody probably a couple of hours to do probably takes me, you know, it can take anywhere from two to ten minutes and we can get back on the road and keep rolling. I think if a guy wants a little more experience, looking for a little better challenge, this place to go. They, they do pretty good on their pay. Uh, they got great benefits, uh, vacation, stuff like that. So and the people are very nice, all the way from uh, Tex Robbins, he's our owner, uh, the CEO of our company, uh, right down to David Davenport, Donnie Davenport, and everybody in Fort Worth. Well, they're just a real good bunch of people to work for, real fair to us as drivers. I mean, you get to travel, you get to meet new people. And, I mean, you, you learn a very special skill set that not everybody's going to learn in America. I mean, it's not going to happen. When you can go to work and have fun, that's, that's always a plus.